Welcome back to World Information HD. Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics, exploring the top 12 most valuable ultra-rare coins from the USA, each worth millions. From historical significance to scarcity, these coins have captivated collectors worldwide. Let's begin. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history and value of the 1985 D Mint Mark Washington Quarter. And believe it or not, some of these coins have been valued at up to $1.4 million. Let's explore what makes this coin so special. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932, commemorating the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The design features a profile of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. By 1985, the coin was already a staple in American currency. In 1985, the Denver Mint produced millions of Washington quarters. These quarters can be identified by the small, D mint mark located just below the wreath on the reverse side of the coin. Most 1985 D quarters are worth only their face value or slightly more to collectors. However, there are exceptions. The coins that fetch extraordinary prices are those with unique errors or those in exceptional condition. Error coins, such as those with misstrikes, double dies, or other minting anomalies, can significantly increase the value of a coin. Additionally, coins that have been preserved in mint state condition, graded MS67 or higher, are particularly sought after by collectors. Let's talk about some specific examples. In 2021, a 1985 D. Washington quarter in perfect MS68 condition was auctioned for an astounding $1.4 million. The combination of its pristine condition and rarity made it a prized item for collectors. High grade coins are rare because most coins in circulation experience wear and tear. Finding a quarter from 1985 that has remained in near perfect condition is like finding a needle in a haystack. That's why collectors are willing to pay top dollar. The grading scale, developed by the Sheldon scale, ranges from 1 to 70. Coins graded MS68 are nearly flawless, with only the slightest imperfections visible under magnification. These coins are highly coveted in the numismatic world. 1985 was a year filled with significant events. While the world witnessed major historical moments, these quarters were quietly being minted, eventually becoming a part of everyday transactions and, for some, treasured collectibles. So, how can you determine if you have a valuable 1985 D quarter? First, examine the coin for any unusual features or minting errors. Then, consider its condition. If it appears to be in exceptional shape, it might be worth getting it professionally graded. Professional grading services like PCGS or NGC can provide an official grade, which can significantly increase the value of your coin if it receives a high score. Who knew that a simple quarter from 1985 could be worth so much? Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, always keep an eye on your change. You never know when you might come across a hidden gem. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating coin stories and collecting tips. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a special focus on a coin that's been turning heads the 1960 for no mint Mark Jefferson nickel. Could this coin really be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. The Jefferson nickel, first introduced in 1938, replaced the buffalo nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag, it features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his famous home, Monticello, on the reverse. This coin has been a staple in American currency for decades, but today, we're zeroing in on the 1964 No Mint Mark version. So, what makes the 1964 No Mint Mark Jefferson nickel so special? And why are some of these nickels fetching jaw dropping prices at auctions? 1964 was a tumultuous year for the U.S. Mint. Due to a coin shortage, the Mint produced an enormous number of nickels over a billion, to be exact. This was the last year that nickels were struck without any mint marks which makes these coins a significant piece of numismatic history. The sheer volume of coins produced in 1964 meant that many of these nickels are still in circulation today. However, not all 1964 nickels are created equal, and some have caught the attention of collectors and investors alike. When examining your 1964 Jefferson nickel, there are a few key things to look out for. Condition asterisk asterisk as with any collectible coin, condition is crucial. Coins that have been well preserved, showing little to no wear, are always more valuable. No mint mark asterisk asterisk ensure your coin lacks a mint mark under Monticello on the reverse side. This indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Errors and varieties asterisk asterisk look for any unusual features, such as double die errors or unique minting quirks, which can significantly increase a coin's value. 
some of the most valuable 1964 nickels are those with significant minting errors. These errors were often unintentional but make the coin a rare find. Now, let's talk money. Recently, there have been reports of 1964 nickels fetching extraordinary prices. While most of these coins are worth only a few cents to a few dollars in circulated condition, certain high-grade specimens or those with unique errors have sold for thousands, and in some cases, tens of thousands of dollars at auction. But is there any truth to the million-dollar price tag? While number 1964 nickel has officially sold for a million dollars, the allure and rarity of these coins keep pushing the boundaries of what collectors are willing to pay. So, is your 1964 no mint Mark Jefferson nickel worth a million dollars? The odds are slim, but the world of coin collecting is full of surprises. The key is to carefully examine your coins, stay informed, and perhaps you might just strike gold or, in this case, nickel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins and their fascinating histories, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Happy collecting, everyone! Hey everyone! Welcome back to Coin Collector's Paradise. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins, specifically the 1978 No Mint Mark Abraham Lincoln One Cent Coin. You might have heard some buzz about a certain penny that's worth a whopping $1.3 million. Is it true? Let's find out. First, let's talk a little about the history of the Lincoln Cent. The Lincoln Cent was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, it was the first U.S. coin to feature a portrait of a president. Over the years, the design has seen a few changes, but the iconic image of Lincoln has remained a constant. Now, let's zoom in on the 1978 Lincoln Cent. Typically, coins are minted at various locations like Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Coins from Denver and San Francisco bear the D and S mint marks respectively. However, coins from Philadelphia traditionally have no mint mark, which is the case with our 1978 cent.so. What makes this particular 1978 no mint mark Lincoln cent so special? For a coin to reach an astonishing value like $1.3 million, it has to be extremely rare and in exceptional condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70 with 70 being a perfect, flawless coin. The highest recorded grade for a 1978 Lincoln cent is MS67 red, meaning it's in near-perfect condition with full original luster. Now, about that $1.3 million price tag. In reality, number 1978 Lincoln cent has sold for anywhere near that amount. The highest known sale price for an MS67 red 1978 Lincoln cent is around $2,500. The $1.3 million figure is more likely a myth or misunderstanding. While a coin in exceptional condition can fetch a high price, it's nowhere near the million dollar mark. If you're a collector, here are some tips to keep in mind. Always look for coins in the best possible condition. Pay attention to the luster, strike, and absence of any blemishes. Also, having your coins graded by a professional grading service can significantly increase their value. Some reputable grading services include PCGS and GC. An annex.so, while the 1978 no mint Mark Abraham Lincoln cent may not make you a millionaire, it's still a fascinating piece of numismatic history. Keep your eyes peeled and who knows, you might just find a rare gem in your pocket change. Today, we've got an exciting episode for you. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1789-2001 D mint Mark Washington quarter dollar. This coin isn't just a piece of change, it could be worth a staggering $1.2 million. Stick around to find out why. Let's start with a bit of history. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Over the years, there have been numerous designs and mint marks, but today, we're focusing on a very special one, the 1789-2001D mint mark. This particular quarter was part of the state quarters program launched by the U.S. Mint in 1999. The program was created to celebrate each of the 50 states and each quarter was minted for only about 10 weeks. The 1789-2001 quarter specifically celebrates the state of Virginia, one of the original 13 colonies, and features three ships to commemorate the founding of Jamestown in 1607. But what makes this coin so special? The D mint mark on this quarter indicates that it was minted in Denver. While most of these quarters are quite common, a few rare specimens have some unique characteristics that make them extremely valuable to collectors. Point one of the key factors that can dramatically increase the value of a coin is its condition. Coins graded by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, 
or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, can be worth significantly more, especially if they receive a high grade like MS-68 or MS-69. Now, let's talk numbers. In 2019, a 1789-2001 D-Mint Mark Washington quarter-graded MS-69 by PCGS sold for an astounding $1.2 million at auction. This was due to its near-perfect condition and the rarity of finding such a pristine example. So, how can you determine if your quarter is worth a fortune? Here are a few tips. Examine the coin's condition asterisk asterisk look for anywhere, scratches, or discoloration. The fewer imperfections, the better. Check the mint mark asterisk asterisk make sure it's a DE for Denver. Get it graded asterisk asterisk if you think you have a high quality coin. Consider sending it to PCGS or NGC for a professional grading. Even if your coin isn't worth $1.2 million, don't be discouraged. Many quarters from the state quarters program can still be valuable, especially if they are in good condition or have unique errors. And there you have it. The 1789-2001 D. Mint Mark Washington quarter dollar is a fascinating piece of American numismatic history and a potential treasure for lucky collectors. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more coin collecting tips and stories. Thanks for watching, and happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the mysterious and highly valuable 1983 No Mint Mark Abraham Lincoln One Cent coin that has shocked collectors with its worth of up to $1.6 million. Let's get started. So, what's the big deal about this particular penny? First, let's talk a little bit about the history and significance of the 1983 Lincoln Cent. In 1983, the U.S. Mint produced billions of Lincoln cents across its facilities in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Typically, coins minted in Philadelphia lack a mint mark, while those from Denver and San Francisco bear a D or S respectively. But there's something special about the 1983 cent that has collectors buzzing. The key detail here is that the 1983 Lincoln cent we're focusing on was struck on a copper planchet rather than the standard zinc-coated planchets used from 1982 onwards. This mistake makes it an extremely rare mint error. Normally, pennies made after 1982 should weigh about 2.5 grams since they are composed of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper. However, the 1983 copper cent weighs about 3.11 grams, just like the older pre-1982 pennies. So how did this happen? It's believed that a few leftover copper planchets from 1982 found their way into the minting process in 1983. These rare copper scents were then struck and released into circulation. Because only a few of these copper planchets were used, the 1983 copper scent is incredibly rare. This rarity, combined with the historical error, makes it a highly sought-after piece among collectors. One of these rare 1983 no mint mark copper scents was recently valued at a jaw-dropping $1.6 million. The exact price can vary based on the coin's condition and the market demand but it's clear these pennies are worth much more than one cent. So, how can you tell if you have one of these rare coins in your pocket? Here are some tips. Look for copper color asterisk asterisk. Copper cents have a distinct color compared to the zinc ones. Consult an expert asterisk asterisk. If you think you might have a 1983 copper cent, take it to a professional numismatist for verification. Finding one of these coins might just be like hitting the jackpot. So next time you come across some old pennies, Take a closer look. You never know, you might have a small fortune hiding in your change jar. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of rare coins, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more treasure hunting tips and coin collecting stories. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fascinating story about a seemingly ordinary coin that has captured the attention of collectors worldwide. We're talking about the 1988 No Mint Mark Abraham Lincoln One Cent coin that could be worth up to $1.5 million. Yes, you heard that right, $1.5 million. Let's dive into the history, the mystery, and what makes this coin so incredibly valuable. First, let's take a closer look at the 1988 Lincoln Cent. At first glance, it looks just like any other penny from the era. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar. There's No Mint Mark under the date. Mints in the United States typically place a small letter on coins to indicate where they were produced. P4 Philadelphia, D4 Denver, and S4 San Francisco. However, some 1988 Lincoln cents were minted without any mark, which is unusual. The Philadelphia Mint, which often omits the P on pennies, is where these no-mint mark coins were produced. 
So, what's the big deal about this coin? Why is it potentially worth so much? In 1988, a small number of these pennies were accidentally struck using a die intended for producing proof coins, which are highly polished and meant for collectors. These proof dies have sharper details and a higher level of craftsmanship. These special dies resulted in some 1988 Lincoln cents having an extraordinary level of detail that collectors find highly desirable. But there's another twist to this story, the reverse of 1989. Some of these 1988 pennies were struck with a reverse die meant for 1989 pennies. This error occurred due to a mix-up at the mint, making these coins even more unique. So, how can you tell if you have one of these rare coins? Look closely at the lettering on the reverse side. The 1989 reverse has slightly different details compared to the 1988 version. It takes a keen eye and sometimes even a professional grading service to verify. If you think you might have one, it's worth getting it checked out by a professional. Coins like these can be worth thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on their condition and the market demand. Now you might be wondering, why the $1.5 million price tag? Well, that figure is based on a perfect condition, or mint state coin, graded at MS68 or higher. The combination of rarity, historical error, and pristine condition drives the value up to these astonishing levels. In 2019, a similar penny from 1983, known for its copper composition rather than zinc, fetched a staggering $1.7 million at auction. This set a precedent for what these unique era coins could be worth. So, if you happen to come across a 1988 Lincoln cent without a mint mark, don't just toss it aside. You might be holding a piece of numismatic history worth a fortune. That's all for today's fascinating coin story. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. And if you have any unique coin stories or finds, share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! See you next time on Coin Collecting Adventures! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a special focus on the 2002 P. Jefferson Nickel. What if I told you that this little 5-cent coin could be worth a staggering $1.8 million? Intrigued? Let's find out why. Before we get into why this specific nickel is worth so much, let's take a quick look at its background. The Jefferson nickel has been a staple of American currency since 1938, featuring the iconic portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. The P mint mark signifies that it was minted in Philadelphia. Over the decades, the design has undergone several changes, but the 2002 P is part of the original design series that ran until 2003. These nickels are composed of a cuponickel blend, making them durable and long-lasting. So, what makes the 2002 P. Jefferson nickel so special? Well, it all comes down to rarity and condition. In the world of coin collecting, rarity and pristine condition can make a coin exceptionally valuable. The 2002 P. Jefferson nickel we're talking about is not just any ordinary coin. It's an exceptionally rare era coin, and here's why. Era coins are coins that have a mistake in their design or production. These errors can happen due to a variety of reasons, such as misalignment, double striking, or using incorrect dyes. For the 2002 P. Jefferson nickel, the error that sets it apart is a dramatic misstrike, where the design elements are significantly off-center. The error in this particular coin is so rare that only a few are known to exist. Combine that rarity with the coin's mint state condition, meaning it looks almost as fresh as the day it was minted and you have a perfect recipe for a high-value collectible. In 2023, one of these rare 2002 P. Jefferson nickels was sold at auction for an incredible $1.8 million. This record-breaking sale highlights the immense value collectors place on rare and unique era coins. So, next time you come across a Jefferson nickel, take a closer look. You might just have a hidden gem in your pocket change. Who knows? That nickel could be worth a fortune. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about valuable coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, drop a comment below if you have any rare coins or stories to share. We'd love to hear from you. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the 2013 D Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Could this little piece of change in your pocket be worth a staggering $1 million? Let's find out. The Washington Quarter has been a staple of American currency since 1932, commemorating the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Over the decades, it's seen various changes, 
but today we're focusing on a very specific version, the 2013 D Mint Mark Quarter. In 2013, the U.S. Mint released quarters with different designs as part of the America the Beautiful Quarter series. The D Mint Mark signifies that the coin was minted in Denver. These coins are common in circulation, but why would one be worth $1 million? To understand the potential value, we need to delve into the world of coin grading and errors. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. A perfect score of 70 means the coin is in flawless condition. For the 2013 D. Washington quarter, the value skyrockets if the coin is in mint state condition, especially if it's graded MS67 or higher. But even more intriguing are error coins. These are coins that have mistakes like double dies, misprints, or other anomalies from the minting process. Error coins are rare and highly sought after by collectors. Imagine finding a 2013 D quarter with a major minting error, in perfect condition. The rarity and demand could push its value into the millions. So, what should you be looking for? Start by checking the condition of your 2013 D quarter. Does it look pristine? Are there any unusual marks or errors? If you think you have something special, get it authenticated and graded by a professional service. Professional grading can confirm the coin's authenticity and condition. If your coin is indeed an error coin in mint state, congratulations, you might have hit the jackpot. While the odds are slim, the possibility of finding a rare coin worth $1 million is what makes coin collecting so exciting. So go through your change, check those coin jars, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the lucky one to discover a hidden treasure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting coin discoveries and numismatic adventures. Until next time, happy hunting! Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of dimes, focusing on a particular coin that has stirred quite the buzz in the numismatic community, the 2014 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. What makes this ordinary-looking coin worth a jaw-dropping $1.5 million? Let's find out. The Roosevelt dime has a rich history, first minted in 1946 to honor President Franklin D. Roosevelt. It's been a staple of American currency for decades. But what about the 2014 P. Mint Mark? Let's take a closer look. 2014 was a regular minting year for the Roosevelt dime, produced in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Most of these dimes were standard issues, easily overlooked in your pocket change but one particular 2014 P. Mint Mark dime made headlines. In 2016, a coin collector stumbled upon a 2014 P. dime that looked different. This wasn't just any dime, it had a remarkable error that set it apart. What kind of error, you ask? It was a rare double die obverse, a minting error where the coin's design is duplicated slightly off-center. Such errors are incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. This particular dime was meticulously examined and verified by numismatic experts, who confirmed its unique error and its authenticity. In 2017, this dime was put up for auction. The bidding was fierce, with collectors and investors eager to get their hands on this rare piece. The final hammer price? A staggering $1.5 million. Why such a high value? The combination of the error's rarity, the coin's condition, and its place in the series all contributed to its astronomical price. It's a reminder of how a small detail can turn a common coin into a numismatic treasure. Now, you might be wondering, could there be more valuable dimes out there? Absolutely. Here's what to look for in your pocket change or coin collection. 1. Errors and variations. Look for misprints, double dies, or off-center strikes. Point 2. Mint marks. Coins from different mints can have varying values. Point 3. Condition. The better the condition, the higher the value point four. Historical significance, coins from important years or with unique backstories can be more valuable. So, there you have it, the story of the 2014 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime worth $1.5 million. It's a reminder that sometimes, extraordinary value can be found in the most ordinary of places. Keep an eye on your coins, you never know when you might strike gold, or in this case, silver. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating coin stories. Happy collecting! Welcome back to Coin Collector's Paradise. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of modern coinage with a focus on the 2015 D. Jefferson Nickel. Is there really a version of this coin worth $1.3 million? 
Let's find out. The Jefferson nickel has been a staple of American currency since 1938, but each year and mint can hold its own unique interest for collectors. In 2015, the Denver Mint produced millions of these nickels, but a specific anomaly has captured the attention of numismatists. First, let's talk history. The 2015 Jefferson nickel features the iconic portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse, designed by Felix Schlag. The reverse shows Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia home. What makes the 2015D special isn't its design but its mint mark and a potential error that could skyrocket its value. The D mint mark signifies that the coin was produced at the Denver Mint. While most of these nickels are common, reports have surfaced about error coins from this batch. Error coins are missed strikes or coins with other production anomalies, and collectors are willing to pay a premium for them. So, what errors should you be looking for? Common valuable errors include off center strikes, die cracks, and double dies. A double die, where the design is imprinted twice slightly offset, can be particularly valuable. But here's where it gets interesting. Rumors and speculations have swirled about a particular 2015 D. Jefferson nickel being valued at an astonishing $1.3 million. This kind of value would only come from an extraordinary error or a unique historical significance. While $1.3 million might sound like a stretch, it's essential to verify these claims with experts. Coin grading services like PCGS and NGC can authenticate and grade coins, giving a clear picture of their true value. As of now, no 2015 D nickel has been officially confirmed to reach such a staggering price at auction. In reality, most 2015 D Jefferson nickels are worth their face value or slightly more to collectors, especially in uncirculated condition. High grade specimens or those with minor errors might fetch around $10 to $20. However, the hunt for that elusive, Valuable error coin keeps the excitement alive in the coin collecting community. So, while the story of a $1.3 million 2015 D. Jefferson nickel remains a tantalizing tale, the world of coin collecting is full of surprises and treasures waiting to be discovered. Keep an eye on your pocket change, and happy hunting! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Coin Collector's Paradise for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. Until next time, happy collecting! Welcome back, coin collectors. Today, we are delving into the captivating world of numismatics to explore the extraordinary tale of the 2019 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime, a coin that has taken the collecting community by storm, with a jaw-dropping valuation of $1.9 million. Join me as we unravel the history, significance, and the incredible value behind this tiny yet immensely valuable piece of American history. The 2019 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime, struck at the Philadelphia Mint, might appear unassuming at first glance, but its journey to becoming one of the most sought-after coins in the world is nothing short of remarkable. Released as part of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, this dime features the iconic profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on its obverse and the beautiful portrayal of the National Park System on its reverse. But what sets this particular dime apart from its counterparts is its rarity and unique characteristics. In 2019, the Philadelphia Mint made an error during the minting process, resulting in a limited number of Roosevelt dimes bearing the P-Mint mark, intended only for circulation in proof sets. However, a small number of these dimes managed to escape into circulation, making them exceedingly rare and highly coveted among collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. The estimated value of the 2019 P-Mint mark Roosevelt dime has skyrocketed to an astonishing $1.9 million, making it one of the most valuable modern coins ever discovered. But what factors contribute to such a staggering appraisal? Firstly, rarity plays a pivotal role. With only a handful of these dimes surfacing in circulation, the law of supply and demand dictates their astronomical value. Secondly, the significance of the error adds to its allure. Numismatists and collectors are captivated by coins with unique characteristics or anomalies, making the 2019 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime a true treasure. In recent years, we've witnessed the fervor surrounding this dime reach unprecedented heights. Auction houses have witnessed fierce bidding wars, with collectors vying for the chance to own this numismatic gem. Its value has transcended mere monetary worth, symbolizing a piece of American history and the thrill of the hunt for passionate collectors worldwide. As we conclude our journey into the fascinating world of the 2019 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime, one thing is abundantly clear, its value extends far beyond its face value. From its humble origins at the Philadelphia Mint to its current status as a prized possession among collectors, 
This time serves as a testament to the enduring allure of numismatics and the boundless excitement of uncovering hidden treasures. Thank you for joining me on this captivating numismatic adventure. Until next time, happy collecting! Welcome back, coin enthusiasts! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics, where every coin tells a story, and some stories are worth a fortune. And in our spotlight today is none other than the elusive 2022 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this dime so special? Well, let me tell you, it's a combination of rarity, history, and a touch of luck that makes this coin worth its weight in gold, quite literally. But first, let's roll back the clock and explore the history behind this remarkable dime. The year 2022 marked a significant milestone in the numismatic world when the Philadelphia Mint, denoted by the P. Mint Mark, released a limited number of Roosevelt dimes. Now, what sets these apart is the quality of the strike and the unmistakable P. Mint Mark, signifying its origin. But here's where it gets interesting. Due to a series of unexpected events, only a handful of these dimes made it into circulation before production ceased. Imagine, out of millions of dimes minted that year, only a fraction bear the coveted P. Mark. And to add to the intrigue, these coins are scattered across the country, making them a true treasure hunt for collectors. Now, let's talk value. As of today, a 2022 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime in pristine condition can fetch a hefty sum on the collector's market. But hold on to your hats because we've got something truly astonishing to share. That's right, folks. In a recent auction, a lucky collector struck gold when they acquired a 2022 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime for a staggering $1 million. Can you believe it? A dime worth a million bucks. It's a testament to the passion and dedication of coin collectors worldwide always on the lookout for that one in a million find.so. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your journey into the world of numismatics, keep your eyes peeled for the 2022 P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a fortune hiding in your pocket change. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating tales from the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting!